In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And tonight, a very special time, we welcome Debbie and Alfredo, who will celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary with us, and they will have the renewal of vows. That will come pretty well after the homily. Good time for it, okay? So thank you for your faithfulness and your witness to the community over these 25 years. Uh, I'm used to people who are married 25 years looking older. So I don't know what I, I don't know what happens here at Our Lady of Fatima. Uh, anyway, we do want to remember in this Mass Rinaldo Marquez, Luisa Evaristo, and all family members and friends who are no longer here with us in the flesh, I would say, because we believe really that when we come together to celebrate liturgy, they are here with us. Hmm? The communion of saints, they are here with us. So let us begin by remembering the mercy of God in our lives. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Came among us to call sinners Christ of mercy. You intercede for us now at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to life everlasting. And a special pleasure here tonight, uh, Father Tavares is here with us. So I'm really, we're really glad you came to come celebrate this liturgy. Father Tavares, the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The officials said to the king, this man ought to be put to death because he is discouraging the soldiers who are left in, his, in this city and all the people by speaking such words to them. For this man is not seeking the welfare of this people, but their harm. King Zechariah said, Here he is, he is in your hands, for the king is powerless against you. So they took Jeremiah and threw him into the cistern of Malachi, the king's son which was the court of the guard, letting Jeremiah down by ropes. Now there was no water in the cistern, but only mud, and Jeremiah sank in the mud. So abed Malachic, the Ethiopian, an officer in the king's house, left the king's house and spoke to the king. 
My Lord King, these men have acted wickedly in all they did to the prophet Jeremiah by throwing him into the cistern to die there of hunger, for there is no bread left in the city. Then the king commanded abed Melech the Ethiopian, take three men with you from here and pull the prophet Jeremiah up from the cistern before he dies. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, Lord, make haste to help me. Lord, make haste to help me. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. Lord, make haste to help me. He threw me up from the desolate pit and out of the miry bug and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. Lord, make my haste to help me. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Lord, make haste to help me. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes takes thought for me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O my God. Lord, make haste to help me. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I came to bring fire up to the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. I have a baptism with which to be baptized, and what stress I am under until it is completed. Do you think that I have come to bring priests to the earth? No. I tell you, but rather division. From now on, five in one hundred will be divided, three against two and two against three. They will be divided. Father against son, son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, mother mother-in-law against daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Now, isn't that quite a Gospel passage to have when we're looking at marriage and the renewal of vows? Father against son and son against father, all of this kind of stuff. There's really two significant points in that Gospel and uh, so I would make two significant points. First of all, at the beginning, Jesus said to his disciples, that's code language for the church. Jesus is not speaking there to the whole world. Jesus is speaking to the disciples. That is the church in the world today, the baptized. And he says, I came to bring fire to the earth and how I with it and how I wish it were already kindled. You've heard the expression, somebody needs to be put fire underneath them to get them moving. Well, that's the way it is to be interpreted there. Uh, Jesus is saying, 
disciples out there baptized you need to put some fire underneath you and get some things done in the church and get some things changed mm -hmm. so that's a, a a very powerful kind of statement and there's always a, resp a, a, kick, a pushback to that, isn't there? I recall way back uh, in the early 60s when I was ordained, the Pope was Pope John the 23rd, and he was the one that started this Second Vatican Council. And someone asked him how many people he had um, working for him in the Vatican, and he said, oh, about half of them. So uh, I think he, what he was saying is, you need to put fire under, under them. Hmm? So that's part of it. Then there is the other, which is really uh, problematic, I guess we could say. Jesus says, do you think that I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. Now, isn't that something you needed to hear as you came to 430 Mass? On Saturday, I mean, with all the uh, work to bring about peace in our own lives and in families, and Jesus is saying, do you think I came to bring peace to the world? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, five in one household will be divided, three against two and two against three. Do you think I came to bring peace to the earth? It's because of the language difficulty here. There were two words for peace in the original language. And one was the kind of peace that they had in ancient Egypt, which means you cover everything over, you sweep everything under the carpet kind of thing. That's not the kind of peace that Jesus wants. There was peace in ancient Egypt as long as the Israelite slaves kept building the pyramids and doing what they were told. But God was not on the side of that kind of peace. And so God did not mind turning the whole world upside down. Divisions, you bet, in order to bring those people out of slavery and bring them to true peace. So that's not the kind of peace. And it can happen in households and everything else where everything looks very nice on the surface or in groups, everybody is very nice to each other. That's not the kind of peace that Jesus wants. And so that when he says he didn't come to bring peace to the earth, he doesn't come to bring that kind of peace. Then there is another word for peace, and it is that ancient word shalom. Shalom. Peace. That is the kind of peace where everything comes together as God would have it, as God intended it in the very beginning. Shalom the ancient Jewish word for peace. That's the kind of peace that Jesus wants to bring. That takes fire for us to bring that. And so, uh, Debbie and Alfredo, I invite you to rise and to come to the front and if um, any of you other folks would like to come with them and kind of on either side, if we don't have anyone here who is your best man. Or
come together, celebrate the wedding anniversary of the marriage of Alfredo and Kevin. As we join them in their joy, we join them also in their gratitude. God has set them among us as a sign of God's love. And through the years, they have remained faithful and have fulfilled their responsibility as parents. Let us give thanks for all the favor Kevin and Alfredo have received during their married life. May God keep them in their love for each other so that they may be more and more of one mind and one heart to make this prayer to Christ our Lord.
Gracious God, we ask you to send the power of your spirit upon us now and to hear these, our prayers. For the church, that we serve Jesus by serving the poorest and the most vulnerable in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, that agreement between Ukraine and Russia to move the harvest of grain to places dependent on it, that it will relieve hunger, especially in Africa, and that it will be a sign of hope that peace is possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For every person who lives in distress or fear or danger, that they will be lifted up to God in this Eucharist as we pray for their safety and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nurses, doctors, allied professionals, and all support staff who care for the sick in any way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Debbie and Alfredo, on the occasion of their 25th wedding anniversary, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are frail and elderly, for those who are alone, and for the sick, especially Nancy Fudge, David Fudge, David Tessier. May their trust in Christ bring them healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Kate Tebow, may they rejoice forever in the kingdom of God's risen Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we carry silently within our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, God of love, God of compassion, God of forgiveness. Here, these are prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, the bread and wine will be brought to the altar table on behalf of the community.
that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God our Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts, and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You may, you may kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving th you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and perfect the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, with, look we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain the, an inheritance with, the, with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with our own patron saints, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unending help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace 
and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own through baptism. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. To our departed sisters and brothers and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. I invite you to turn and offer each other a sign of the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I welcome those joining us. Peace of Christ come into our hearts. Okay, you go. I'm... Peace of Christ. Can you help me down there, do you think? Okay, just hold on. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. My sisters and brothers in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called now to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof. 
and only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
rise and pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. First of all, I want to thank Father Tavares for allowing me the privilege of uh, um, presiding at the liturgy for your 25th Anniversary. You didn't baptize them, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I might have. Baptized <laughs> Jesse. Uh huh. I knew there was something special there. <laughs> yeah, Jesse, and some others. Okay. So I guess it'd be nice if, uh, when we start the final procession down the aisle, if you folks would kind of go down as well, and then hang around the entrance so you can greet family and friends even though you may have done that. Oh, sorry. In Portuguese? In Portuguese. Sorry, in Portuguese. Um, eu às vezes pergunto à família se no dia do casamento do, do Alfredo e da Debbie, muita gente estava a dizer este casamento não vai valer, não. vai ser pouco tempo, 25 anos. E graças a Deus que há sinais destes, que, e damos graças a Deus por, por esse sinal. Mas em, às vezes nos casamentos há esta tentação, os mais, e alguns já partiram, há sempre a tentação de dizer isto é por pouco tempo. Gra obrigado, obrigado por, por este testemunho, obrigado por virem à igreja, obrigado por estes 25 anos, por todo o amor e toda a amizade que tens tido pela igreja, e, e obrigado por, por este testemunho, não é verdade. Sorry, my English. Muito obrigado. Thank you. Thank you, Padre Leo. The, the wedding, the Alfred and Debbie, the people say this one month, two months, 25 years. That's right. So, so yeah. You're for record. And then, and, so I, I, I understood some of that. Muito obrigado, yes, which is pretty, and a few other words I understood as well. Good, thank you, Father thank Tavares. You. Thank you. Uh, so I guess you can bless with me or oh, whatever. You can, you can bless. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>